I'm Val Ulmrod and um, I was honoured to receive second prize in the poetry category. Yeah, really thrilled. Um, I, I also had a, a poem shortlisted, so, so both the poems I sent in were recognised. And I've entered this um, competition for the previous three years and had one shortlisted each time, which has been really, um, really very nice. And uh, but even better this year to have won a prize for one of them. Um, I think I've probably written poetry for most of my life. I started writing some as a teenager, probably very bad poetry. Uh, I wrote some in my 20s and then sort of career and life took over. Um, and um, oh, back in the, um, the early 2000s, my father was diagnosed with dementia and came to live with me. I looked after him for six years. And I started writing about looking after him and writing some poems about dementia and trying to imagine what it was like in, inside his head. Uh, and I entered one for the Bridport Prize, which at the time I had absolutely no idea how prestigious it was. I just picked up a leaflet in a magazine and I entered and it, it was highly commended in that. And that really gave me a, a boost. Um, and I thought, oh yeah, people are liking to write to read what I'm writing. Um, and then I joined a poetry group and I've sub subsequently joined two more poetry groups. And each of those we meet once a month and write to a theme. Quite often it's a theme that I would never have even thought of writing about before. And it's kind of increased my range. But, um, uh, and that makes me write. I, I, it's not that I'm particularly ambitious, but by belonging to three groups, I produce three poems, new poems every month, which, you know, it, it's just like a driving force and we workshop the poems and, and we get feedback and then go away and improve them and, and work on them. The things I write about mostly, I, I, I do write some humorous stuff, but um, more often I do write about things that are um, a topical in the news. Um, so my poem that's won the prize today it's actually about a Syrian child bride, which was inspired by a documentary that I watched on TV. I've um, written, written one recently about um, a victim of the Turkish earthquake being rescued. Uh, and I've written quite a few recently about the Ukraine-Russian war. Um, and in the past, I've tackled other subjects. I, I guess it's just my way of dealing with it. So I've written about things like female genital mutilation, although, you know, po possibly that's cultural appropriation as it's, it's not something that's happened to me. But I do feel that poets and authors, in order to write convincingly and movingly, you need to get into the head of the person and imagine what it is like to go through the situation that they're experiencing. And that's what I tend to do. Uh, often I have absolutely no idea where it's going to end until I'm halfway through it and then an ending comes to me and then I jiggle it about as everybody does. So perhaps the first draft takes about half an hour to an hour and then, then I can spend three days tweaking it and changing it and sometimes reverting to what I wrote in the first place. Mm -hmm.